Search for App Mink. Hey there, App Mink scholars, and welcome to the first installment of App Mink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about the seasons. As you know, there are four seasons. Summer is very hot and there's lots of sunshine. Winter is very cold and depending on where you live, there may be snow and ice. Spring is warm and lots of flowers come out in bloom. And in autumn, the leaves change color and fall from the trees. But you might be wondering, why do we have seasons? That is an excellent question. Let's join Mink on a journey into outer space to find out. Firstly, it is important to remember that like other planets in our solar system, the Earth moves around the Sun in a circular path called an orbit. Bearing that in mind, let's take a closer look at our Earth. Earth is a sphere, like an orange. There is an imaginary line running through the Earth called the axis. You may notice that the axis does not run straight up and down. This is because the Earth is actually on a tilt or lean. That tilt is the reason for the seasons. As the Earth orbits around the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean toward the Sun and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. But you might be wondering, why is summer hotter than the other seasons? Another excellent question. It's because during summer, when the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it receives more direct sunlight. In other words, that warm, toasty sunlight is hitting that part of the Earth straight on. It is more concentrated in one spot and more intense. And what about winter? Well, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. Winter is colder than the other seasons because during winter, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it receives indirect sunlight. In other words, that warm and toasty sunlight is now hitting the Earth at an indirect angle. It is spread out over a larger area and less intense. As for spring and autumn, these are the in-between seasons. During spring and autumn, the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the Sun. Clear as mud? It may help us if we follow the Earth on its orbit around the Sun and see how it works. Imagine you are here. What season would it be? I'll put that question to you, at Mink Scholars. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said summer, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is summer because the place where the arrow is pointing is leaning towards the sun. Now let's see what happens as the Earth orbits around the sun. Let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun? Right now, it would be autumn. Off we go again. Okay, let's stop here. We have made the journey right around to the other side of the sun. Do you notice that where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun? So, at Mink Scholars, what season would it be? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said winter, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is winter because the place where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun. Let's keep going. Again, let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun again? Right now, it would be spring. Time to finish off this journey around the sun. Okay, so now we've arrived back where we started and it's summer again in the place indicated by the arrow. And hopefully, you have a clear understanding as to why we have the seasons. 
But our learning is not over yet. Did you notice how long that journey took to complete one whole orbit? I'll give you another five seconds to think about it. If you said one year or 365 days, then you're correct. It takes one year or 365 days for the Earth to make a full orbit of the Sun. In that time, we have four seasons. Each season is three months in length. And one more thing. Let's look at the Earth moving around the Sun again. You'll notice that when the top half of the Earth is leaning towards the Sun, the bottom half is leaning away from the Sun. That means that when it is summer in the top half of the Earth, it is winter in the bottom half of the Earth. For example, when it is summer in Australia, it is winter in the USA. So the bottom half always has the opposite season to the top half of the Earth. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So why do we have seasons? Because our Earth is not straight up and down, but rather it is tilted on its axis. That means that as the Earth orbits the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean towards and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. When the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. When the Earth is neither leaning towards or away from the Sun, it is spring or autumn. The relative temperatures in each season are related to the amounts of direct sunlight that a part of the Earth is receiving at any given time. So, that's it for the first installment of App Mink Academy. Now you know why we have seasons. Till next time, and as always, keep on learning!